And like, I'm also intrigued after Swerve's promo saying, hey, I'm not coming alone next week. Are, are we actually going to see the Mogul Embassy? Is that an actual? Because yeah. the Mogul Embassy, for the most part, has been ignored yes. since Swerve <laughs> went, you know, and did this. Yes, I guess you see Nana come out with, you know, with Cage sometimes, but is he going to reunite with Cage? Is he talking about something else? Like I am intrigued about when, when Swerve says, Hey, next week I'm not showing up alone because he needs, he knows he needs to match right. the patriarchy with Wayne and well, like kill switch. Kill switch. But mobile embassy still feels like they're heels. I mean, is it Keith Lee again? I know he's hurt, but I think like, could there be something there and reheating him and getting some, you know, Forward progress for Keith Lee as much as they've wasted him. I don't think you can put those two back together on the same side. Like, Why? because they've tried to, because they've tried to like ignite that feud at least five times. So, and, and then that just hasn't time, caught just fire. Go the other way. It's like, all right, we can't put you guys against each other. What about together? Let's try that. You gotta go back yeah. the other way. But again, like it, it could be, it could literally be anybody. You know, the possibilities yeah. to me again are endless. And, and that to me is a little bit exciting of, okay, who's he going to show up with? Yep. My guess it would have to be somebody from Mogul Embassy, but maybe it's not. No, but there's possibilities. And I think those two will be awesome. Like we gave them credit the last paper. The fact that they're setting up the card early is always a pot because we're at three or four matches already. Women's oh, and, world international. So we have the women's, we have the women's world, the international, uh, men's, uh, TBS. Oh, TBS, yeah. Um so yeah, at least four, at least four that I can think of off the top of my head. And we're three weeks out like that. I give them credit for that. Like again, making the right decisions where you're getting excited about things. Like you assume the bucks will be in a match. Like maybe we'll get a Jack Perry thing. Like keep I'm it assuming, going. Just keep it going. What? Did they make it? No, they're doing, they're doing Trent versus orange. I don't know why they're doing Trent versus orange on dynamite. I don't know why they Agreed. wouldn't save that for the pay-per-view. <laughs> um, unless they do a thing where like Trent just, Sure. squirms out of it. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they announce the match, try to make sure the match doesn't happen or it gets disqualified early and, you know, continues to build the heat on him. But also, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what they're going to do with Trent's going forward. Like, but if he got a win over Orange Cassidy, that would be yeah. pretty big at the pay-per-view. So I, again, I, I don't think they necessarily do that one at Dynamite. But again, AEW, building a lot of momentum going forward. And like, can you imagine yourself asking this question a year ago? No. And it's a world title match. Like just yeah. the random This is going to main event. Match. This is right. main eventing the fifth anniversary of the foundation of the company. The first ever event in the history of AEW. This is what the main event is going to be. Swerve versus Christian. Of course. Yeah. Like <laughs> Yes. Like I'm very excited about that. Like it's awesome. Like well deserved for two guys that have busted their ass for this company.